So how do you start building a fantasy landscape? Well, you just get a pencil and start sketching. And all I knew really was that I got a kind of a hillside. I got an old house in Wales. And in case you don't know, Wales is, um, all right, we got sort of Britain's kind of like that and Ireland over here, Scotland up at the top. And if you cut that bit off there, and it actually kind of looks more something like that. Um, this is Wales, which is a country all on its own. So Great Britain is actually England, Scotland, Wales, and a little bit of Ireland, Northern Ireland up there. Wales is a very green, mountainous sort of country. And I wanted it set kind of up in the mountains. So what we have is the uh, International Space School. <laughs> and, um, and I knew uh, very much while I was writing, had this vision of this big kind of terrace, big sort of circular terrace here, looking down the valley. And way down, there's a big lake where they go sailing. So there's lots of kind of outward bound sort of pursuits um, available at this place. And, and I want there to be a lunar lander just parked up there, as you would have. And my vision was of these kind of really cool buildings going up. Um, that doesn't look like Scotland at all, does it? It's a split in half by the Great Glen. These really cool kind of modern buildings. I knew there was going to be like one big building with a just a wall of mirror glass reflecting the countryside off it. So this is kind of number one sketch. And, oh, and then doing a little bit of research looking for houses. I thought I want this more bird's eye view. Um, and I thought I had this nice kind of wavy kind of <laughs> building roof here just for fun. I put a, um, a conservatory on the end here um, and then starting to think about these kind of just buildings sort of going up the, um, the side of this hillside and uh, it's a bit James Bond, that, isn't it? Really a bit too James Bond. <laughs> so um, that has changed to this kind of zigzag kind of roof thing up at the top. And it's trying to work out the angles and the whole feel of the whole thing. Um, and I think I started to find this curve a little bit tricky. Uh, <laughs> some intermediate sections. Uh, that's obviously a previous. I've got those numbering muddled up. That's a previous kind of version. Um, and this is now starting to try and tighten the thing up a little bit. Um, thinking about the house, it just doesn't quite look right. And mm, I'm just feeling uncomfortable, I think, with this curve on the front. It's kind of a Queen Anne style front. So it's still there. <laughs> still kind of working it out, trying to tighten it up. Um, and then I decided to get rid of that curved front and sort of maybe move slightly different angle. Um, and we've also we got this is a Tesla X coming in here. There's a Tesla X in the story <laughs> with the gull wing uh, doors. And so this is sort of getting a bit nearer there. So so as I said, yes, I've taken that curve off the front and just sort of building it up. Then I decided I was going to put an observatory up at the top there. Having a bit of trouble with this <laughs> front here and having a real trouble with this apron at the front. And I know this is a very integral part of the thing. Characters kind of spend quite a bit of time leaning on it and staring down the valley. So this is quite important to me, but this just doesn't feel right at the moment. So this is where I am now, and I, you can see I've kind of widened out the apron and made it sort of shallower, so it kind of looks a bit more likely. And this is actually quite complicated to have that kind of balustrade thing going on there, so I decided it's just going to be a wall with a, a pelmet thing, pelmet, whatever they're called on the top of it there. And I think I'm almost there. This just doesn't, I think this needs to be a bit more sort of um, parallel to those lines there. And then that can sort of come like, oop, like that way. And maybe 
I should have a few more people around. I don't know. <laughs> Just make it look a bit more like lived in. And now I'm going to get my light pad. I'm going to stick a piece of paper over the top. And now I'm going to get some watercolour paper. This is uh, Langton Mold Made Hot Press Smooth Grand Satiné. 300 GSM, £140. And I'm going to stick that over the top. And why am I cutting it? So that I can stick it uh, to the edge of the board here. So I've got a little bit of room to get some masking tape in there but a little bit of room uh, on the edges in case I want to stretch it out when I come to do the watercolour part so I'll stick that on there and then I think I need to make sure that that's not going to move underneath it so I'll stick some in under there uh, my camera lights are so bright I can't see what I'm doing so I'm going to turn them off yeah I can see what I'm doing and now I'm going to zip through this. So uh, I'm using my Raytring Tiki Graphic 0.3 uh, to draw over the top. And all the time I'm drawing this, I'm getting more and more feeling this isn't right, this isn't right. While I'm drawing it, it doesn't feel so bad, but it's when I come to start painting it, I think this is all wrong. <laughs> but I kept going right to the end and decided no, I have to start this all over again. It's just not right. <laughs> so um, that's just the way it is. Thanks for watching. Make sure you come back next week when maybe I'll show you the next version of it. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.